Hello friends, uh, this is Chalpesh here and welcome again to my channel Code with G. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about how we can create a new project with Visual Studio 2009 new project dialog. So without wasting time, let's directly jump into the Visual Studio code. So here you can see like the first screen when you click on the Visual Studio it goes up with this particular screen. Here on the left hand side uh, it will show you all the latest project and from here you can search anything like if I search web there is nothing there but if I search console you can see like the console app is there. Uh, so from here uh, like you can also pin those stuffs so it will be always there and you can unpin from that so that is functionality also there on the right hand side uh, there are four options provided so first option is uh, clone a repository so basically here what they're providing is uh, you can clone any repository from the git uh, server whether it could be github whether it could be your azure devops or gitlab or bitbaker or any git repository from where you can clone this repository so the second option is uh, open project or solution <coughs> where you can open the existing project and uh, you can figure it out like uh, which is the existing projects there and from that you can open the project or solution there the third option is the folder view where it, it will ask you to open a local folder and from there you can open this folder and you can either add the solution or project to there or from that project or folder uh, you can open the solution so that is the third option and the fourth one is the interesting one which is a create new project we are going to see that in detail but we, before that i want to continue uh, click on this continue without code so basically what it does is um, it, it, uh, when you click on this like it will open the Visual Studio and uh, without any code so here in the solution explorer you can see there is nothing there okay so from here uh, like there are a couple of things you can do so same thing like you can open the create new project dialog from here also and uh, there are other options available like so whole Visual Studio is available so from here you can change your themes and everything so that is what you do if you don't want to have the code directly loaded into the system so let's cause this and again let me open this now let's uh, see create new project dialog in the detail so once you click on this so here you can see uh, whatever recent project templates I have used it is showing on the left hand side so I don't need to search all these tabs uh, and uh, I, I can directly copy or I can directly click on this and create my projects so mostly I am using console app and sp.net core web as in mostly I am doing the web development so that, that's why it's showing me all these tabs there on the right hand side uh, you have that search available on the top where you can search so let's say if i want to create a wpf application it will be show me all the wpf tem uh, templates uh, available there so here you can see like there is a wpf app for .NET framework uh, normal dot net uh, then wpf custom library so all these steps it is showing me there so you can clear from here or you can clear from here so basically like if you clear from here it will clear uh, this particular search box and uh, there are three other filters available there so this filter is for language so if, if i click on javascript you can see right now i don't have any template for javascript so from here you can always add and install the more tools available but uh, normally i uh, do not uh, change different uh, setups but if you see in the c-sharp i have tons of stuffs available 
the second filter is uh, for uh, like the only pet pumps so if i select android you can see i haven't installed the xamarin and few other stuff but if you see uh, that uh, if i select the windows here you can uh, see like this showing me wpff windows app and other stuff and by default here you can see like now the desktop is selected if i select console it will only show me the console app so this is the type of the application which you want to uh, develop for example if you want to develop for uh, iot then if there is a, anything uh, related to iot templates it's going to be there if you want to develop for web so here you can see like uh, i got the couple of options for web so, so that is how uh, you can use this project and you can easily find uh, suitable templates for you and uh, it is very now intuitive uh, earlier like uh, we have to travel and search for all these uh, stuffs and now it can be easily uh, uh, find uh, you can easily find those stuffs uh, with these filters and from here again you can clear all this stuff and go back to normal so here you can see so i hope you like this video and if you like this video then please do subscribe to my channel that is code with jv and here is the url and i'm going to create uh, such more videos uh, like this for Visual studio 2019 and few other uh, topics so see you in the next video